What's up guys, it's Jimbo50 and today I'm gonna be showing you how to install your very own wireless charging pad in your Chevy truck. I'm really trying to work hard on make my channel grow. So I'm interested to see on how well this video does and, and overall. So do me a favor, right now in the comment section, just comment how many subscribers I have right now. At the time of me making this video, I currently have 225 subscribers. I do a lot of cool car stuff, but anyway, I wanna see how this grows. So comment below how many subscribers I have. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe right now and hit the like button. All right, let's get into it. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a wireless charging pad. Now this is a two pack I got at Costco, $35 for the pair. So what you're gonna wanna do guys is get this thing out of the box. Now I'm gonna go over the plan with you really quick first. So this is your wireless charging pad. And basically when it's plugged in, all you do is pop your phone on it and it starts charging. Now, the idea is for this to work, we're gonna be taking this wireless charging pad and mounting it on the inside of the console. Now the idea is that this is a very thin piece of plastic and and the power supply will reach through the plastic console and be able to charge the phone when we put the phone on just like that. All right, so I ran an extension cord inside the truck and I hooked up the wireless charging pad so you see when you put your phone on the pad, it automatically starts charging. So now we gotta test if this is gonna reach through the plastics. Right, and we'll get a piece on here like that. That'll hold it in place for now. Now in theory, we should just drop our phone It uh, does not appear to be working. So it works here, fine. Now if we put it on the back. Okay, it's working. No way. Hang on, let's try it again. Ready? Awesome, sweet, I am psyched about this. Okay, um, we do need a power source. So originally I was thinking I, I would have loved to hardwire this in. I have one switch left. These are all for my light bars. Uh, I have one switch left here. I was gonna wire it to that. Although I kind of need this brick. This is really important. This is the transformer and it's gonna, you know, uh, I picked this thing up at Harbor Freight. It was like 20 bucks. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on this. I just need it to work. So I think that's all we got to do. So let's get to it. The cord that comes uh, with the wireless charger is is really long and we could snake this any way we have to so I think we're gonna be okay with that and one other thing guys the cord is six feet long So you definitely don't need longer than that for this situation. You definitely can't use shorter So six feet is a magic number and that's what you need. All right So I'm thinking we could get our power inverter up under there. It's out of the way You won't see it now. We just got to snake this wire I don't even know if we'll have enough for that. So basically, if this is going inside, we still want to have enough slack for this to open and close and the whole thing to come up and down, right? Quick little side note for you guys. If you have one of these older trucks, you'll notice that there's a foam pad here. And basically, that's to put pressure on your stuff that you have here so it doesn't move around. But when it gets old, the foam starts falling apart, it flakes off, and it makes a mess. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that. I'm thinking a bit of lacquer thinner and a nice clean razor blade to do the trick. Okay, I got this thing cleaned off. It was kind of a pain and made a mess. But this is easy. We're gonna stick that up there somewhere out of the way. Keep in mind, folks, there is a little fan on this thing. It's running right now. Uh, it's already getting a little hot because it's sitting in the sun. Honestly, this thing's a piece of shit because it's hard to freight, but it's gonna do the job for what we need to do. So. All right, so let's see what we're working with. Wow, first try. Man, am I good. I don't wanna see the wire at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a hole here Oh, I'm gonna have that run down here and just kind of stuff in between the seats and right here I'm gonna go under the rug alongside this thing under the rug again and pop out here Sweet easy enough. All right, so ideally what we want here is our power bank to be mounted up under here and this plugs in one way only so we want the wire facing towards the firewall this way we could go right underneath the rug Snake it through here to where the shifter is for the four wheel drive. And then we can keep carrying it on that way. So I'm gonna feed the snake up through the carpet. Hopefully. Okay, it's just going over that way. Okay. 
where the hell did it go? It's actually becoming really difficult. I think we go the other way. All right, so I had to rip the carpet a little bit through. This is really, really difficult. All right, we got the snake through. Finally, now we just have to attach it to the other end. Now our wire, we have to attach and use our electrical tape. We want it to be like this. All right, our wire's through, and now we have to get it through the other side, which is over here, uh, which means I think we're gonna drill a little hole. Shouldn't be that bad, though. Shouldn't be that bad. So I'm thinking if we could have this poke out, honestly, right here would be fine with me. Okay, we're definitely through the rug. All right, so now I'm gonna put this end through in the hole. Out of the carpet, if that's even possible. Okay, now tape it up again. Okay, feed that through, hope for the best. Yes, okay, we are good. Nice, hard part is over. <sighs> beautiful, it's a beautiful, uh oh. I don't want that wrapped around there. Now I'm gonna go around this little hook there so it's out of the way. Make sure we have enough slack. All right, guys, so I'm not sure how much you were able to see of that because it was a very tight spot, really hard to uh, get a good film angle on that. But anyway, so what I did was um, I took a, a metal snake and I snaked it. I drilled a hole through here and I ran the snake through the carpet and all the way up to here where I wanted it. Fed the wire through, pulled the snake through, and now we have our wire uh, routing from the inside of the carpet here. It goes underneath, underneath the four-wheel drive and comes out here right at the cup holders. Ideally, I would have liked to go a little further back, but that's fine because it's gonna go right here in the seats and, you know, it's gone. You don't see it at all. So anyway, so with this thing, I would have it, would like to have it mounted this way. This way, this wire is kind of hidden, goes straight up into the cigarette lighter. Although the plug's on this side and I don't think we're gonna have enough room for the wire. So we're gonna have to flip it this way. This is gonna run on a little of an angle, not the end of the world. If you really wanna get into it, you can pop this cover off and, and run this wire behind up through here and just kind of plug it in there. The only reason why I'm not doing that is because I have a ton of these switches um, wired up here. I got the plow mount here and behind this panel, I already have a ton of wires for all my light bars. So I really don't want to get into taking that apart. And now we just got to get the wire inside the armrest. So I think what we're going to do is just stuff it underneath the seats, come around side here, wedge it in between. It's a little pressure on the wire, but honestly, I always leave mine down anyway. So I think we're gonna be, yeah, that's not even rubbing. So we're gonna do that and just feed it through the side. And I think we're just gonna let it hang instead of drilling a hole. Oh, nice, we have plenty of wire. I'm really happy with that. So let's work on mounting this charging pad. Now, honestly, I'm thinking maybe some hot glue would be fine and just put it there. I'm gonna do one more test run, make sure all this is working. Uh, really hoping this <laughs> does not break this thing or, or melt through this rubber. I don't think so, I think we'll be okay. And again, we're just gonna be mounting it right like that. So we don't wanna put any glue on the center here because that's where the uh, you know the magic component is that charges your phone wirelessly. So we're gonna go right around the rim. You wanna work kinda quickly because you don't want the glue to start drying on you. Okay. All right, press it down. Stuff should dry pretty quick. That's on there pretty good. If you wanna be extra safe, then you could uh, you know, you could go around and put a bead on the outside. Make sure everything's still working right. Got a green status light. Here we go. Boom. So I'm going to glue this wire down so it just stays neat because that's the kind of guy I am. I'm thinking we could run a bead right in this little canal here. I mean, we're just going to have to wait and see how well this holds up. So for the wire, I'm gonna go ahead and put some extra glue on it because this is gonna get a little movement and flex and everything. And So now I just gotta uh, feed this wire between there 
like that. All right, so I'm not sure how much you guys were able to see because it was hard to get in these angles. Uh, we snaked the wire through, I got this back on, and the wire goes uh, underneath armrest here, feeds to the seat. Um, right up in here, I ended up stuffing it between here so I didn't have to drill any holes, and then we kind of hot glued the wire around here, and then we hot glued our charging pad here. So now basically put the phone right here, and it's good to charge. So now that all that's all done, you can see how the wire stays out of the way. Ideally, I'd like to get rid of this wire, but for now, I, I really don't want to have to open this up. There's a bunch of wires behind there, so just make sure you have a good amount of slack on this wire here. You don't want it too tight because then you'll end up breaking the wire. I have this double sided tape I'm going to use to secure it. You want to find like the thicker tape with the foam in between. I don't really have any of that right now, so I'm going to try to get by with using this. This stuff is really sticky. I'm going to give it a nice firm press and we're golden. Let's give it the final test. And we're charging. Look at that. No more wires. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. And again, help my channel grow and subscribe. And don't forget, comment below the subscriber count when you watch this video. I'm really interested to see on how much it grows. And also hit that thumbs up button. That will help me tremendously. One other thing I'd like to add before we go is this is plastic here. So when I drive, this thing is going to slide around as you can see. But I'm going to get some two little strips of rubber just from like a craft store or something. And that's just going to make it so it stays in place. I don't have a case. If you have a phone case and you have rubber on your phone case, that's going to be enough to uh, hold it in place. But I personally don't use a case on my phone. So, you know, it's plastic on glass. It's going to slide. I'm really happy with this. I've wanted uh, wireless charging for a long time. So super stoked. All right, guys, take care, subscribe and keep an eye out for the next one.